Hello everybody, um, my name is Jay. I am the founder of Inspired AI or A Inspired. Um, I've been doing marketing for just a little over uh, 20 years now. Uh, same with content creation. Um, I've also been doing photography and videography for about 10, 11 years now. And uh, I, I've got my master's in marketing um, a little while ago. So with all that, I've seen oh, like over the years, um, I've been able to see the evolution that marketing has had in the business world. Uh, going from traditional uh, marketing, digital, social media to now AI and just how rapidly just evolves and changes and we have to keep up with those trends. Um, because of that, uh, I've uh, now incorporated AI into a lot of the things that I do with a lot of the businesses that I work with um, to help them better compete with much bigger companies that have incorporated AI uh, way before every, anybody else, right? Now, they have the funds to do it uh, way back then. So now it's finally our turn to uh, get into these tools uh, to help our businesses just keep up moving forward and actually be able to compete with the much bigger fish out there. So because of that, I wanted, um, um, I wanted to create a dashboard of tools. Um, because one thing that I've heard is like, well, there's ChatGPT, there's MidJourney. Yeah, and they're amazing, amazing tools at what they do. Um, so what I wanted to do is just incorporate all the different things into one dashboard rather than having to get several different apps um, in different places. Like, you know, it becomes more uh, costs, you know, like become higher at that point because like, you have to get several different um, apps. This way it's just one dashboard with a lot of different apps and I will show the, you, you those in just a second. Okay, so if you're watching this video it's because you're already on this website so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time with it since you've probably already had time to go through it. You can see a lot of information, read a bit more about me, um, have a list, of, yeah, go through the list of apps um, and there's more now actually um, that you will have access to. Um, just a quick uh, testimony, I need to add a few more over here. Uh, this is one of my favorite areas of the website where you can see the difference between the command of class of water and chat GPT, which was this, and this is what it generated. And you know what? It did just that. It did give us a glass of water and it looks great. It, it's fine. If, this, if that's what you're going for, great. But if you want something more, then, well, this is what our generator ended up doing. Uh, definitely will catch your eye if you were scrolling through anywhere you know I mean it's just everything about it I mean it's meant to stop you from scrolling having a second look and really taking on all the colors and things like that so and this just came from class of water that's all I input um, you can go through more information over here right now it, we are having that sale over there that's gonna change from month to month from week to week depending on different promotions and things like that. Right now it's at $20.99. Uh, you guys can jump on this. Um, uh, over here, just more information. Over here is where you can reach um, reach me um, directly. You can just put your message over here, send it over, or you can just send me an email at support at inspired.ai. So again, you guys have already gone through this. I'm sure you can watch some other videos over there. Uh, get started now, you can view the blog. But what I want to do is go to the dashboard um, of apps and walk you guys through some very powerful apps that we have created now, and specifically more in the marketing side of things. That's I'm basically giving you guys what I've learned, what I learned in eight years, and just and and doing the same thing that I'm able to do in just a matter of clicks at this point. It's ridiculous to say that. It's sad to think that I went to school for eight years to do a lot of these things that now you guys can generate in just a matter of clicks. So again, let's just get started. I want to keep this kind of short. It's probably going to go a, a bit longer than what I wanted to, but I really want you guys to grasp the idea behind these apps, especially in the marketing side of things. So let's start with market research. So over here, just to show you how easy this thing is, we're just going to put the A inspired that I am. I'm just going to use my own website just to see what it comes out with. Uh, target market location, we're in Utah, so I am going to put here in Utah. That's where I want to do the market research. So I am going to click this, 
and I have played with a couple of other um, results in the past um, or searches so but I want to see what it comes up with because they seem to be very similar which is what we want to see we want to see that it's consistent now that it's necessarily going to give us something completely different each time the consistency is key because then it tells us that we're heading the right it's giving us the right information to be able to push forward with the, whatever information that it gives us so uh, this usually takes about a minute or so it can take up to two minutes um, but what this is doing is literally just analyzing the website that's all it's doing all the information that I have on the website is just going through it and then it's going to search up uh, put that information against Utah just to see how to better service Utah uh, with our tools so as soon as this comes up I will resume this. See you guys in a second. Well, that wasn't even a couple of seconds. <laughs> so they didn't even give me time to get a drink. So anyways, um, so this is the information that it came up with. And it's going to be a lot, so I'm not going to go through it. I'm just going to scroll through it. If you guys want to pause and check and see the information that it, it, it gives, I mean, it is just insane. I mean, we're talking about consumer behaviors, competitors, SWOT analysis. If you guys don't know what that is, so strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Uh, these are very important when you're looking at entering um, a market and, and see how the product or business service stands against uh, some other ones that are out there. Uh, you're looking at the ma uh, marketing metrics. Uh, this is just crazy. I mean, product, price, promotion, place, marketing strategy plan. I mean, it's literally laying everything out for you. And again, things like this would take... I don't know. I mean, depending on the size of the product, the business or things like that, I mean, it could take hours, it could take days, it could take weeks, it could take months to create something like this, depending on how intricate the business is. So over here is just laying it all out for you. Obviously, this is not set in stone. You can make whatever changes you want, and I'll show you how you can actually copy this and put it into a Word document. And that way you can make whatever necessary changes you want before you actually make it a little more official and you can do this as many times really as you want um, there's no limitations on how many times you can do this the only one is the amount of cloud space that you have which it's a lot I mean we're talking five terabytes of space that you have to be able to do what whether it's images videos forms I mean that's a lot uh, so yes you can do this pretty much as almost as much as you want without any repercussions so but again you can see all these different things conclusions right so it gives us all this information that now gives us a, a better idea of where we stand and how to uh, how we can move forward from there from there what we can do now that we looked at market research we can go to target markets who is it that we want to target so let's check that out. Let's again. I've done this before, but I want you guys to see the results as they come and pretty much what I'm doing. If I don't have a website, I can put a description over here in this area. But since I have a website, just to make it a lot easier and faster, I'm just gonna go about it this way. I'm gonna go to Utah. Same thing. I'm gonna let it do its thing, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Um, so now this came up with 10 market segments and, te and I believe it's 10, yeah, 10 uh, top um, target markets that we can go. So it narrows it down, you know, like to this uh, segment and then within that segment, it's, then it's going to pinpoint a certain target market that we can go after because the last thing that you want is to spend money on paid ads and things like that and not really put it in front of people that this is going to be relevant to you. You don't want to just send it out to everybody, or maybe you do. If you want to send it out to everybody, great. Maybe you have an awesome service product, uh, business, you know, that is probably good for everybody. Uh, in the AI instance for, for me, for myself, uh, I want to put this in front of people that really care about this particular product and service because it's not just everybody that's going to grasp the, the power of the that this thing uh, brings uh, could bring to them, especially if you're a small business owner. So over here we're looking at professional marketers, Utah-based marketing firms and professionals, uh, content creators, Utah-based YouTubers, bloggers and vloggers, small business owners, 
Utah based startups and local businesses. You know what? Like, yeah, let's pick this one. Let's just copy it. And now I'm going to show you why I'm copying this because this is where we start narrowing down who we're going to go after and how we're going to go after them. So we want to know who we're going after first, though, right? So, and again, you can scroll down and check out more um, people or businesses and things, you know, uh, places that you can actually target. Um, there's a lot of information over here, very powerful information. So, but now that we have the target market that we want to pursue, let's figure out who is it that we're going after. This is very important because we need to figure out how we're going to, um, how do I explain it? And um, there's a particular person for this type of product, right? Like it's not just gonna be any business owner. I mean, although this would be super powerful for any business owner out there, it's gonna be a particular business owner that they're gonna see the true power and the true benefit of having this. So who is that person? Like, who is it? So let's find out. Over here, we, again, we put the website. If you have a product, service, business description, you can put it over here if you don't have the, um, a, a website. Uh, predefined segment and our target market okay this is where we're gonna paste that and let's see what it's gonna come up with all right that was fast so apparently the perfect fit for this product service it's someone called Mark Rutherford I don't know if you're out there man I'm coming for you really hard so <laughs> but well old jokes aside on that <laughs> so this is just helps us, you know, kind of put a name to all the information, but obviously that obviously doesn't have to be someone called Mark Rutherford. It can just be anybody, but they're very specific. Um, the information that it's going to give us is what we're going to use or utilize. So it kind of gives an idea of how to move forward from here. So 3545, and um, that's very relevant because I've created other personas and every single one of them comes to 35 to 45 they come to about 70 to 100 the other ones have come from 70 to 120 master's degree in marketing same thing the other ones that i've done came up to the same thing uh urban area same uh, so this information is literally the exact same thing the only thing that's changed is this part and that just depends on who the person is right like so it could be both or it could be female or male but so the gender part of it i probably wouldn't even worry about it i would just worry more on this side Maybe there are some other businesses, let's say some uh, beauty salons and things like that. Yeah, the gender definitely, you know, that's probably, uh, you're going to be targeting, I don't know, housewives, you know, so it's obviously, you know, it's going to be uh, female, this age and things like that. So in this instance, you know, it says male, but honestly, it can be either, like with these different other um, uh, information. Um, Psychographic, same thing. You can look exactly who they are. Driven, tech savvy, creative, uh, shopping behavior. Prefers online shopping for convenience. So it gives you a lot of information that you can literally use to grasp a better idea of who you're going after. Who that person that's going to end up buying your product? Who is that person? So this is telling you this is the person that's going to end up buying into the service or product or whatever over here the justification um mark but is the ideal customer for inspired ai reflective of the target market and things that's found on the website as a utah based startup i mean you guys can pause and read it if you want to and just get a better idea of how it came up to this um th this justification but see like this is what i'm saying i've done some other ones in the past and same thing the age is the same age. The gender, female, male, that changes, but look over here, 75 to 100, that's practically the same thing. Degrees, bachelor, administrative of marketing, there's a master's, okay, well, either way, they are educated. Uh, suburban, uh, area, urban. So, so yeah, I mean, over here, the interest, digital marketing, uh, content creation. So it does get it, like, what I love about this is that it keeps a good level of consistency. It doesn't change it from one search to the other when you do something like this, right? Like what I don't want to see is 
at 18 year old high school um, whatever like hasn't even graduated oh and then on the next search is going to give me something like this that's completely different people right but this way we know that it, the person that we should be going after it's the same person it doesn't matter what type of search we do it's going to give us consistency and that's what we want so we have that um ba -ba, there's unique selling proposition now we want to see uh, what is it that sets our product or service apart from the competitors. So over here, once again, we just put that and we'll be right back. And that was fast. So I guess it's going to give us an analysis, unique selling proposition, USB, Inspire AI, empowers marketers and content creators by seamlessly integrating advanced AI tools with their creative process, enabling them to market, create, and engage. I mean, this is like, it's crazy. It's crazy, like things like this, especially how fast we're moving through all these different things. I mean, all these areas would take so long in the past. Even when I was in school and I was doing them by hand and <laughs> doing the research and everything, I mean, it was taking forever. Now, I mean, we can just simply input a URL over here and it'll create all this for us. It's, it's insane. This is super powerful for any business out there. Small, medium, large, I mean, just anybody, anybody that wants to put a brand out there or, I don't know, a side hustle or just anything. This is just insane. Um, same thing with a compelling message, discover inspired AI, we're cutting edge AI technology meets, right? That's her message that you can put that on, I don't know, on Facebook, on your website, on whatever it is that you want to. That is just, it's awesome. Uh, from over there, then we can look at marketing strategy. Once again, we just put that over there, target market. We know who the target market is. We're going to go to Utah location. So, and again, I've done this before. You can see it over here, inspire.ai. So um, I just want to see what this comes up with. Because um, again, consistency is key. So I want to get a better idea of what it comes up with. and. If it's very similar then I know we're on the right track you saw how fast that um, it came up with a marketing strategy uh, strategy we have goals and objectives again none of this is set in stone and I believe I forgot to tell you guys how to copy this thing you can just click on this up here and that'll copy the entire text you can take it to a word document and you can make whatever changes you want at that point from there um, again, now that we've narrowed down to a specific target market, it's going to give us, again, a SWOT analysis according to that. Um, then we look over here, competitive analysis, it's going to tell us some competitors, uh, the marketing uh, mix or matrix. Um, same thing, it's going to be according to the target market now. Um, over here, digital marketing tactics, it's going to tell us some um, areas that um, it would benefit our service, product, business, right? So over here is saying the SEO would be a big one, pay-per-click, uh, content marketing, email marketing, social media marketing, influencer uh, marketing, and then we look in some other areas that we can actually look at, um, such as uh, tradition, more in the traditional side of things. Uh, we're looking at local events and networking, printed marketing, um, uh, direct mail um, over here will tell us where uh, how, what to allocate right so if we have a hundred bucks or a thousand bucks it's telling us 20 percent of that should be going to SEO 20 percent of that to pay per clicks uh, content marketing 20 percent right so we're not just guessing this is just giving us a better idea of what we should be doing to make our money go further um, over here it's gonna give us a timeline a roadmap so month one through two, conduct initial, uh, initial SEO audit and optimization, launch pay, uh, PPC campaigns, uh, develop email marketing, right? So now, okay, now we have something in mind. We're not just trying to figure out where do we go from here? I have this great product, this great service, now what, right? Like how am I gonna put it out there? So over here is gonna give, give you step by step basically what to do it's just crazy month one like month five and six seven eight nine ten i mean this gives you a complete year basically what you should be doing 
uh, KPI is how to measure uh, performance. Uh, so over here, you'll do it. Like same thing, it gives you everything. You don't have to sit there and guess, right? Guessing is the worst thing that you can do <laughs> in, in marketing. I mean, uh, like, I don't know, unless you just like to throw darts and see where it lands and hopefully works. Hopefully it doesn't, or maybe it doesn't. I'd rather be a more informed to make better decisions, right? And this is what these apps are giving us, just m bigger and more powerful decisions. <laughs> so we're not guessing. Uh, from over there, AI marketing, um, this one's pretty cool. Um, let me see, Papa A Inspired Business Product, Tactics, Social Media. This is if you want to um, look at a specific type of marketing, you can put it over here. If you don't have anything specific, that you, don't, then just click Generate Results and let's see what it comes up with. I believe it gives you about 10 um, options that you can look at um, and how to go about it. So let's wait and see what it comes up with. That was fast. See, again, we're talking about hours, days, weeks, months worth of work and matter of seconds. Sometimes a minute, you know. I mean you guys have seen it, like it took about a minute and twenty seconds. I think that's the longest one that's that's done so far. So marketing analysis. So we have digital marketing, AI driven marketing, social media marketing, content marketing. I mean you have all these different ways and then it's gonna break them down. So now we here you have digital marketing strategy. Develop a comprehensive digital marketing strategy that encompasses all aspects of online presence. Uh, tools, Google Analytics, ChatGPT, HubSpot. Uh, HubSpot, sorry. <laughs> AI driven marketing, same thing. I mean, over here is telling, hey, use my tools, right? <laughs> uh, social media marketing is gonna, it's gonna go through every single one of these and just give you a, a bit more information because there's a lot of people that probably don't know what SEO is, search, uh, search engine optimization. So I'm just gonna give you a, a quick um, summary of it and but now you have an idea of what your, what your specific business or product or service, uh, service needs. Um, with that in mind, market. so we have that one. We, now we can look at social media marketing. Uh, this one, you know, could take a little bit more information. I'm just gonna put that location to advertise. I'm just gonna go to Utah again. Investment amount, I don't know. Let's, let's put the thousand dollars that I already put in there. Target market, uh, we already had that. Theme, I don't know, we have Halloween coming, right? Uh, Halloween. So let's just see what it comes up with. Okay, so we're back. Um, now that it's gone through the website and analyzed it and Utah and how much we have and who the target market is and what kind of theme we wanted to give it, this is the information that I came up with. Um, the top is always going to be the analysis, quick analysis of it, so we're just going to keep moving forward from there. Over here is just going to give us a bit more of targeting options um, that uh, we can look at if we don't want it so narrow to that per uh, specific persona this could actually open it up a little bit more so over here is telling us 25 to 45 um, entrepreneurs marketers small business owners techno interest in these areas uh, mid to high uh, uh, income brackets uh, can you consideration so again so based on all that it's going to tell us where we should be marketing um, uh, this service to uh, so over here it's saying facebook oh uh, it's going to suggest a couple of different magic hooks um, for those of you that don't know what Magic Hook is, this is like <laughs> probably the most important thing of any post out there. Other than, I mean, to, uh, just as powerful as the image, right? You have the image, but then, okay, so if it stops you from scrolling, what's the first thing that you want to tell your, your potential customer? How are you going to make him click? you know, on the particular post and things like that. Like, you need to have something eye-catching. You can't just say, hey, come buy my stuff, right? <laughs> you can't just come up with something like that. But over here is transform your marketing with AI. Embrace the feature of business automation. Save time, enhance creativity, right? Like, it just kind of gives something to go with the image 
that entices people to want to click on that particular uh, ad that you're going to be putting out there. It's going to give you uh, hashtags that you could use, um, type of image, saying that you have an image already. Uh, it's going to give you an idea of what you could be using. If you don't have an image, it's going to tell you one over here. A split screen image showing a cluttered marketing process on one side and another streamlined. So we can use that to create an image. Um, over here is a post um, uh, like text that can go together with the magic hook. So you have transform your marketing with AI. Unleash your marketing potential with AI inspired AI tools. Perfect for Utah based startups. Right? And then some more uh, hashtags over there is going to tell us best um, posting times, weekdays around 9 a.m. through 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Those are the best times to post it to get the best results. Uh, LinkedIn, same thing, it's going to uh, just look, it's going to be completely different, it's different people looking at LinkedIn than some Facebook, so the messaging, the way that it brings it up is going to be a little bit different, so it's going to, like once again, it's going to give you, for example, a sleek modern image featuring a business team using AI tools in an office setting, okay, awesome, so let's, for example, we'll copy that and I'll show you why so now that we have the magic hook we have the text to go with the, um, with the magic hook we have the hashtags we need an, Im uh, an image to go with that right so really quick I mean uh, we also have Instagram we have Twitter YouTube the YouTube uh, um, this is pretty cool this is actually giving us uh, an idea for a reel this so it's not a, necessarily an image it's going to be an actual video that you can also copy. You can paste it into the AI video tool that it's in this dashboard and it'll create a video for you. I mean, it is insane. So, over here, I mean, TikTok, Snapchat, Reddit, Tumblr, I mean, you got even additional marketing suggestions, traditional marketing methods, print ads, and flyers. So, over here, it'll give you some uh, links uh, to go to canva you know like where you can create actual flyers so i mean this is like it's insane it's going to tell you how to use the thousand dollars that you have for the investment it's going to tell you how to break it down social media and advertising uh, so five fifty percent of that should go towards social media and within the social media it's going to be on this one that you should probably pay for ads right content creation i mean it's crazy it's giving you a complete roadmap of what you need to do it's giving you all the tools all the information so over here now like let's go to the scroll stopping ads right this is uh, this is one that I we created a little bit um, ago so again I just post them um, like pasting this information there we're gonna keep it at 69 and uh, ba -bum. yeah let's make it photorealism so let's see what image it comes up with um, again you can redo these images as long as like as many times as you want like I said you have five terabytes so and let's I don't know how somebody can go through five terabytes but wow that's a lot so over here if you're not happy with the image you can uh, regenerate it again but let's just see what it comes up with and we'll go from there okay so we're back so Again, modern image fe um, featuring a business team using AI tools. So puts the business team in front of computers. You know, I mean, it's like it knows. It is insane. Now I can take this image in particular and use it for the LinkedIn post that I'm going to be doing, right? So again, like it simplifies it. It streamlines, it streamlines the entire process like where it used to take I don't know maybe an hour or two you know to try and figure out a single post um, I don't know maybe 30 minutes whatever it is now you're just doing it in a matter of minutes uh, you know allowing you to have more time to put into some other areas so that we have that now we can go to email marketing uh, I mean like I said so many tools every single one of them so powerful uh, and you don't have to go and get a bunch of different subscriptions. It's all in one subscription. So again, URL, I'm putting the A inspired. Email campaign, and 
over here I want to do a full. Uh, if I just wanted to do a cart abandon, let's say that somebody goes into the store that's already signed up uh, and adds a product to the cart, and but then doesn't purchase it, after a little bit, this is going to trigger, well, you can set up like a MailChimp uh, account, for example, where it will trigger an email to let them know, hey, you forgot your, your product in the cart, it's still there, if you want to buy it, you know, it just sends them that reminder, and, or a welcome, you know, so for sex of the kind of showing you guys what this does I'm just gonna do full which is gonna take them from what happens once they start what they call a journey so call to action uh, let's say we want them to buy right and the tone we're gonna keep it friendly uh, okay so let's see what kind of emails he comes out with all right and we're back so um, check this out so the first email comes it's gonna be a welcome image I'm sorry, a welcome email. Um, so, welcome to Inspired AI. Let's revolutionize your marketing, right? That's the heading, the, the title of it. Um, over here, it's gonna give you the text that you can just literally copy and paste and change. You are responsible to make sure this information is accurate, right? Like you don't want to just say something that you cannot deliver and things like that. You wanna make sure that whatever information is generated by AI is actually uh, correct and that you can deliver so make sure once you copy it and you paste it that you make whatever changes that are necessary you know, before you actually put it in the journey or send it out as an email to somebody so like again this is just like it's crazy it tells you one of the best times to do it obviously if it's going to be a welcome um, message like this one um, if somebody subscribes to your newsletter or whatever it is you don't in, in, if it's a Tuesday you don't want to wait until the next Monday to send it so this part you know I probably would have just ignore and I would just set it to send as soon as possible at 10 a.m. this is relevant 10 a.m. seems to be the best time and to send out these emails um, so keep it at 10 a.m. but send immediately uh, email two, discover the power of AI tools. Saying that you sent a welcome and it's like, hey, check out, check out my website, check out my products, check out whatever it is. And they still haven't bought. Well, the system will continue to send out an email. Now, this is just the this is the information for you to put into something like Mailchimp, uh, right? It's just because it generated all this email doesn't mean it's gonna send it from here. You have to have something like MailChimp or Eye Contact uh, where you can generate these journeys, you know, that triggers these emails to be sent out. But it's breaking it down for you to where you don't have to think about what you're going to send them. Like, like I don't know what kind of email do I want to send out? When should I send it? Like, what should I say? Like, what should I include in it? Right? It's giving you everything. So and it goes all the way, like, like it gives you several, several emails, seven, eight. So it gives you eight emails that I counted over here. So it, like, it's crazy. It's totally crazy. Like again, it just takes out a lot of that thinking that used to come from trying to figure out how to go about it. Uh, marketing funnel. This is also going to incorporate the email, but it's also going to tell you how oh let me show you this is this is freaking sweet i i, I love this uh, marketing funnel app uh, ba -bum, let's see a ton of messaging uh, we'll keep it fun level of persuasiveness i don't want to sound too annoying so you know but we you do want to you know have some level of persuasive, uh, persuasiveness in there <laughs> uh, promotion share let's 20 percent off this first month so let's wait to see the results and then i'll walk you guys through it all right, so now we have a full-on funnel journey, um, starting from with social media, right? Like we have the text that you can add to Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook. This is what it's, it's telling you to do, basically. Uh, for an image description, it's telling you use this type of image. So again, you can copy and paste that into an image generator. You know whether it's the hyper-realistic, the scroll-stopping, or the hero image. Uh, you have some hashtags uh, from over there, right? You want to set, uh, set up a link 
to probably a landing page landing page over here like it's gonna break it down into a couple of different sections so you have your your header and it's you know that could go together with an image right so you have the short boost uh, your marketing with inspired AI that can be the top line the medium line transforming your marketing game with inspired AI uh, tools then the long one you know it's just a bigger explanation uh, it's kind of similar to this I mean I didn't really use the medium uh, part of it but yeah you have your short over here would have like the medium and then pop on scroll then this could be the long right so it's a is this this um, a similar concept to that so um, again it gives you that um, yeah it gives you that um, then it's gonna give you a couple of different other sections the emotional section is gonna be okay what kind of video should I include in this area to you know to connect with people on that emotional level it's gonna tell you exactly what you need over here supporting text to go with it and then other the text the email sign up this is again this is for example MailChimp this is somebody comes in and signs up and it's going to uh, trigger that that journey within MailChimp, where it's going to start sending out emails. Uh, you have the logical section, right? Like you just kind of give it a little bit more information, and then the funnel part, where it's like you got to hurry before it goes away. So again, it gives you these three, well, four very powerful areas for your landing page to put together. Um, into a website well you know landing page is part of a website so anyway so you have that uh, and from there it's going to start a full on email campaign starting with welcome emails I believe it's three or four uh, welcome emails where it, you're not really sounding too pushy you know you just kind of hey thank you for signing up welcome to the community you know and then the sales emails start coming up Right, and that's saying that they still haven't purchased. Um, if you have one of those services like Mailchimp, you know, I mean, you connect your store, your website to it. So by connecting that, then it knows whether a purchase has been made or not. Uh, so if it hasn't, then it'll continue to send these emails that you're set up, that you're setting up inside of Mailchimp. Uh, it's it is crazy. I mean, you can look up. Uh, uh, email journeys in MailChimp, you know, on YouTube, and you'll see just how powerful and crazy these campaigns can be, and why this, the marketing funnel, is just a super, super powerful <laughs> tool to have in this arsenal of um, of apps. Um, from over there, I mean, now you're looking at easy blogs. Um, you know, if you want to create some blogs really quick on the go. You don't want to write one from scratch. Well, I'm just gonna use some of the really fine things over here. AI tools, sure, ba -bam. and let's just see what it comes up with. Um, it should go pretty quick. It'll give us text. It'll give us a title, and it'll give us a description for an image. See, that was that fast. Now I can literally just take the title. I can take. All of this area, uh, this section right over here, which is the uh, the body, the the text, and then all the way down at the bottom, it's the hero image description. You can literally just copy and paste that into the hero image generator, and it'll give you an image to go with this text. Now you can just put that inside your blog, and you're done. You're done. <laughs> like, well, like this took me what a minute like it's insane um, and but, but let's see promotional calendar this is just really quick uh, I'll just kind of show you what some of the other ones that uh, we're not waiting um, for this one so it's gonna give you a complete year long of promotions you know starting with January so usually it's the new year um, offer or Valentine's Day special Kind of gives you some ideas of how of what what you can offer with these things. Uh, promotion three: Spring webinar series on um, leveraging AI in marketing. I mean, it's like it's it's crazy. Like you can literally just put this in your calendar so you know 
what uh, you what you're gonna be offering the following month, so you can prepare for it, um, right? Because the last thing you want to do is like, oh man, Halloween is tomorrow. What am I gonna do? You know, I should have started a long time ago. This way, you know, hey, Halloween is coming, so you better get ready for it. Um, we uh, the week calendar. This is another uh, type of calendar that you can do this week by week. And I'm just gonna scroll down uh, just to kind of show. Uh, show you what you could do um that way i'm not waiting for this things to generate but i mean over here you have monday you're going to post into linkedin at 9 a.m this is what you're going to post this is the image that you're going to use these are the hashtags that you're going to use uh you're going to post on uh, twitter or x uh, at 11 a.m then on tuesday you're going to go to instagram um and facebook um, so again it just lays it all out for you you don't have to just sit there and wait and try and figure out when, um, when when to post or you know so when you're on the go and you're on like you just want to get things done that just it lays it out for you it's super crazy super awesome and uh, the last one that I want to go um, go through is this image to marketing campaign I love this um, this particular app it is a lot of fun I've created a couple of different ones, but just to kind of give you an idea, uh, so you basically upload an, an, an image just from your folders, you just upload it, you put in again your URL so it knows what kind of business um, you're trying to promote. Um, so the idea behind this is sometimes an image you now speaks a thousand words, right? So if you come across an image that you just totally love, Maybe you took an image that you're like, oh man, I wish I could use this for my marketing campaigns, but I don't know how. Well, again, you can put it over here. You put in your URL or your um, the description of it if you don't have a, a website. And this is what it's going to come up with. So let me use this one as an, as an example. So you have a caveman using old tools, and then you have this lady using AI tools, right? So over here is just going to... <laughs> analyze everything about the website and then it's going to start giving you some ideas of how you can use it so uh, so over here magic hooks ready to leap from the stone age to the digital future <laughs> right so immediately you can use this magic hook together with let's say one of this campaign like campaign text um, are you stuck using primitive marketing methods so again it read the image it analyzed the website and then it put this together for you. So now it's like, hey, I've got this awesome image that I really like. Now you have uh, the content to go with that, right? So it is like, it is crazy. So from prehistoric to futuristic, you know, it gives you camp um, campaign slogans. I mean, it's, it's crazy. So that's, those are the apps that I want to show you guys. Obviously, there are a lot more. I just wanted to really tackle the marketing um, side of things in here and the, and the apps that I use the most in here. Obviously, there's a lot more in here that are super powerful. Like I said, you have the, your AI videos, you have Motion Maker, which is uh, to create reels, uh, marketing proposals. This is Chris, if you're actually in marketing and you're, um, you're constantly presenting proposals to clients, this helps create them in a matter of a minute or, or two like a complete pdf is insane um image editors this if you want to edit whatever images are created in here or you can upload an image and you can have ai help you edit the image custom relation, uh, relation uh, management tool um over here is where you bring in your domains to be able to use with others uh, with other things such as funnels that you can actually have in here if you want to uh, the vault is where all this is the cloud. So you have five terabytes in there. Um, so again, smart websites. So uh, in the future, I will be creating some templates of websites that I will be pinning over here. So so these are templates that you guys will be able to use, and it'll be, make it so simple where you guys can just jump in, import the template, and just change the different elements in there, uh, the images, text, and things like that. You can just double click on it, just change it, and you're done. So I will be working now uh, on those in the near future. So wait for those. These blogs are these are great, uh, but it does take a little bit more effort to get them done. But it, like they are they are amazing. Magic hooks over here is the same thing that 
some of these other apps were generating. This one just um, deals just with, with magic hooks, and that's it. It doesn't give you any other, other information, but the hooks that it gives you, they are just out of this world. So, I mean, there is just so much. I can spend another couple of hours talking about all these other ones, but um, this video just went way too long, way longer than I wanted it to. I hope you guys made it this far. I hope you guys check it out. Um, want to check these things out. Uh, if you guys have any questions or um, you guys want to uh, reach me, um, and I don't know, for whatever it is, I showed you guys where you guys can do that. That will be on the main website, which is AINSPIRED.AI. Now you guys can scroll down. And you guys will see this box or my email support at ainspired.ai or just simply come over here do that submit it it will come directly to me and i can reach out to you guys and we can start this journey together so let me know um yeah if you guys need anything um, on my side and i hope to be working with all of you guys soon see you guys bye